So welcome to my review of the 7 Hertz Timeless. These are a full planar IEM, my very first one. So I'm actually quite looking forward to these as I've actually not tried them yet. Uh, yeah, as usual, full disclaimer is uh, I bought these myself. So these are not a review unit or anything like that. I was not paid to do this video and all the thoughts and opinions are my own. And let's see what these bad boys are like because I'm really looking forward to trying these out. So a closer look what you get, as it says, playing our headset, my very first one. They look kind of big. I've seen pictures, but obviously I haven't seen these in the flesh yet. Mine are the 3.5 one, just for like, it's just what I have the most connections of. So I presume it's a 14.2 millimeter driver. It's MMCX, which is a bit of a shame really. I'd have heard two pin. 5 hertz to 40,000 hertz. So from 5 hertz, that's super low. Um, 105 decibels of sensitivity. I guess that's 14.8 ohms. I'm not quite sure because I can't read Chinese. And obviously that's what it look. That's the breakdown of what it is. There's the planar film in the middle. And yeah, that's just a bit of time travel. And I'll, let's see what's in the box. So when you first open the box, you get this. This is an auditory revolution. Headphones are no longer cold equipment. Timeless feels the temperature of music with you. Exactly, exactly what I was thinking. So it's there. This is where you get inside. This is metal. So hinge there. These bad boys, except there is a protective film on the back, which I'll peel off in a bit. So MMCX, I normally prefer like a two pin. Obviously that was in here and this ribbon is provided so you can actually get it out, which is kind of cool. So in here should be tips. Okay, so they give you some new, I wouldn't say mesh, but grill, shall we say. So an expert pair of those. Better paperwork. Which, it passed a QC, which is kind of cool. Can't really, there's a QR code you can scan if you want. Um, that's it, so. Two lots of tips. I'll have to see what the differences are like with those. It's kind of cool. So yeah, let's check them out. So this is the case that it comes in, which is crazy overkill. Obviously like brushed um, metal, aluminium, not quite sure, but it is, it is kind of a metal. There's the branding, kind of velvety inside. So it has slight padding, but maybe another aftermarket case might be better. On the back of those, I've already peeled them off, but it came with just protective, um, I'm not sure stick is what you call them, just protective sheets. So let's see what these like. So straight 3.5. There's the branding. I'm not sure what that, the actual grills are. Maybe it's just for grip. Uh, yeah, so kind of loose, slightly loose kind of weaving, but it seems quite good. Strain relief, chin slider, which works okay. Works pretty good. I'm trying not to take these off because MMCX is not like two pin, so it doesn't last as long. Obviously that's the right one. It's got R on the connector. They're both red, which is kind of confusing if you, kind of colour blind or anything like that, it's harder to see. So there's the brand, R there, bit of vent in there. There's the actual grill. Obviously, obviously you saw the one in the, the unboxing part. There it is. That's the shape, it focuses. So yeah, cable seems, um, cable seems fine, but obviously I'm gonna put a few hours on these. I'm going to graph them to see what they're like. And I might take a picture of them in my ear to see what the kind of fit is, but obviously they're quite big. 
but obviously this sits all outside of here so it may not be uh, may not be a big deal and yeah that's what they look like first play now so i'm kind of excited to see what these uh actually sound like so yeah see, see me in the future so finally on to the review of the seven hertz timeless these are like i said earlier in the video these are a full planar driver which i was really looking forward to because things like this used to be very expensive but it's good to see the they actually come down you know in price and be more affordable and yeah let's get on to what these are actually like so one of my main priorities is how things fit and the comfort to me that's more important than sound because I, like i've said before it could sound amazing but if it's really really uncomfortable and it doesn't fit you very well you're not going to listen to it so the fitment and the comfort is it might take a bit of tip rolling uh, but in the end it should be okay as you can see it's not that big the part that goes in here this section so it's not too bad it just might take a bit of adjustment but just bear that in mind and the actual comfort one these is actually not too bad uh, they look heavier than they actually are because you see they're quite big but they're not really that heavy so i didn't really have any issues um at all really so it wasn't too bad at all so uh imaging and stage are average obviously bear in mind these are not headphones you think with play if you say playing are you think well they've got really good imaging the imaging is okay again they're not headphones and the stage is okay as you say they're not headphones but i was fine with it they're not they're not they're not awful but they're not amazing it's kind of in the middle so it's i can accept they're not too bad obviously the mmcx they should i think they should have gone for two pin because um mmcx comes with issues the my pair are fine now to bear in mind but mmcx can be a bit hit and miss so details and resolution i really like the the micro details that these offer it's kind of like the benefits of playing out because it, it's a it seems to be a faster driver than a dynamic driver um i'll explain that in further on but anyway sound so like now i'm going to overlay a graph and this is both sides because some people have said like the channel matching is not that great but as you can see mine is not too bad also bear in mind on the graph uh, mine is sub base roll off below 50 you know 60 50 40 starts to roll off other people's don't do that so bear in mind if you do get these you may have more sub base than the graph dictates well my graph so just bear that in mind but um base is great it's very controlled it's fast because it's obviously playing our base anybody who's used headphones will know what i mean by the, the low end on a good playing or headphone it's fast and uh, it's great so yeah base is pretty good um more than i expected so i try these with some side trance which is fast bass shall we say because it's a higher bpm and performed really really good which is good to see nothing to say really mids are you can see very uh there's a little bit of a bleed from the bass but it's fine really i don't have any issues at all at least it to make male vocals don't sound thin um vocals male and female are quite good so there's an elevation up to about 2k so um a good album i tried this with physically today was the album uh if you know london grammar so it's a female vocalist um with acoustic in instruments in the background and everything sounded crystal clear um i've never had a dynamic driver that sounded had that kind of reproduction of sound but it sounded the best i've heard on these which is quite a feat considering i've got some quite you know i've got some decent gear i think because the driver is faster it can load all through if that makes sense to you but but yet yeah, london grammar's album which seemed to have some good mastering on it as well sounded really good on these but that's just one example i have tried it with a bunch of different genres after that it sounded fine on everything i did throw um throughout it the tuning looks more like conventional like a conventional dynamic driver kind of tune but um yeah good stuff really so instrument separation is good because it's a planar it, it can they 
it can do more complex stages better it's probably a good way of doing it but i was quite happy again with the actual micro details instrument separation and it again was good it just so compared to a good dd i found these just sound a little bit clearer um i think it's just just different kind of driver technology so the only thing i didn't really like on this is the two to three k seats still like elevated now on some music i i really noticed that before i noticed it because i graphed this kind of like an hour before i did the video so i, I listened to it first so it doesn't kind of uh affect your judgment that's what you should always do listen to a bunch of music then graph it afterwards because it obviously could uh it can kind of affect your kind of thoughts on it but i knew something was off um because sometimes it can some, i wouldn't say shouty but i know something was kind of elevating more than i was expecting and obviously the graph has pulled it up to two to the three k depends on what you're listening to but i again i mostly had no issues obviously you can always eq that back but like when i tried it with my side trance you didn't really pick it up but on some of the london grammar tracks i noticed something i wouldn't say shouty but you could tell it was there but apart from that really great tuning they don't sound like planar it's kind of difficult to sound more natural they have a natural t uh, timbre to them which is which i really do like um, obviously there's a peak 8k as usual from the coupler at least it's kept the treble there's no really big treble roll off it's kind of kept it instead of going off like a cliff face like some do um again i i think these are actually pretty good so the only real negatives like being pinnicky like kind of finicky is the stage and imaging are average but i'm fine with that as long as it's not claustrophobic don't don't worry about it um and that two to three k but you can always fix that with a bit of really quick eq it depends on your music library because we all listen to different things so we all got different libraries so it's all you know it depends on your context so one thing i'm going to try out with these like after this review obviously separate i'm going to try with some gaming to see what them like but i don't really see any issues really they should be okay but yeah on the whole i'm quite happy with them they are other people have hyped these to say them good and they are good they are they are, they are actually a, a great pair so yeah congrats to seven hertz they've done a nice job if they do a mark two that'd be quite intriguing but yeah here they are as you said they're quite big but then again see it stops there's a vent there also um i was using these outside today it was quite windy here uh, and the wind noise doesn't come through helps that the venting is on the back so wind noise is also very minimal and the isolation was actually okay it wasn't amazing but i like the how it blocked the wind noise so you can use these outside which is actually pretty good but yeah, on the whole they're quite good so a quick summary of the actual seven hertz timeless is great low end more than i expected but because it's fast and punchy decays quick i've, I've got no issues at all um, obviously mine seems to roll off more but that might be just my measurement lower mids are, as you can see are elevated so the top makes the vocal sound great doesn't really sound v-shaped though uh, no issues um, as i say like vocal sound crystal clear instruments acoustics all very clear um, i say a bit of an elevation you know the 3k part but again no real problems really on the whole the sound natural which is kind of good the actual timbre is very natural um but yeah not much to say really i like these these are pretty good the seven hertz with it with it it's a fluke or not but they've actually done a really good job so congrats seven hertz i think this should suit a lot of people's um libraries and yeah so as usual uh, let me know in the comments anything in particular they've done a good job um one of my next videos because i've got the tin i5 p1 plus as well so i've got another plane r to try i'll probably compare these to them maybe in a separate video and i might throw them against the tri i3 pro uh sorry pro which uses the plane r as the mids because it's a tribrid and yeah so yeah thank you very much for watching and take care